1 p.m. Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan. The news read by Kanuz Ashraf. First, the headlines. Anti-terrorism court Lahore will announce verdict in Zainab murder case today. India minister says security situation and power generation capacity in the country have considerably improved. Three terrorists have been killed in an operation of security forces in DG Khan. Complete shutdown is being observed in occupied Kashmir today against brutal actions of Indian authorities. And now the news in detail. An anti-terrorism court in Lahore will announce verdict in Zainab murder case today. More details from our Lahore correspondent Imran Hassan. Uh, yes, Kanuz Ashraf, that's right. Currently, I am present at Court Lakhpat Jail of Lahore, where anti-terrorism court judge Sajjad Ahmed will shortly announce the verdict in Zainab's case. Meanwhile, Zainab means family members and prosecutor general Punjab Sayyid Atisham Qadar have also arrived at the spot. Earlier, the trial of accused Imran Ali in Zainab's case was held on daily basis to meet the deadline set by Supreme Court and Lahore High Court. Uh, the minor girl Zainab uh, went missing on 4th of the last month and was found raped and dead on 9th of the last month while accused Imran Ali was arrested tw on 23rd of the last month. Over to you, Kanuz. President Mamnoon Hussain has called for paying special attention towards provision of better health care facilities to the poor and downtrodden segments of the society. He said this while inaugurating International Cardiac Electrophysiology Conference in Rawalpindi today. The president said it is imperative to focus more on medical research for treatment of chronic diseases. Prime Minister Shahid Khakan Abbasi held a meeting with former Prime Minister and PMLN President Nawaz Sharif in Lahore today. They discussed overall political situation and matters of mutual interest. India Minister Hassan Iqbal says security situation and power generation capacity have considerably improved due to concrete measures taken by the PMLN government. Addressing a seminar in Lahore today, he said the government has taken several investor-friendly initiatives to boost national economy. The minister said China-Pakistan economic corridor can play a key role for the country's economic progress and prosperity. Operation Radul Fasad continues across the country. Punjab Rangers, along with elite police and intelligence agencies, conducted intelligence-based operation in Diji Khan. According to ISPR, during exchange of fire, three terrorists were killed and two Rangers soldiers were injured. Prepared IED rocket launcher, AK-47 grenades and ammunition were recovered. In Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, government is spending more than 15 billion rupees on construction of various hydro bar projects. A spokesman of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa Energy Development Organization told Radio Pakistan Peshawar correspondent that 250 hydro bar projects have been completed, while work is underway on 106 other projects. These projects being implemented in Hazara and Malakand with, will, that will generate 40 megawatt electricity after completion. A two-day Pakistan mother language and literature festival began at Lok Virsa in Islamabad today. Over 100 writers, poets and artists from across the country are attending the event aimed at promoting the country's rich linguistic and cultural diversity. An occupied Kashmir complete shutdown is being observed today against the shifting of Kashmiri detainees from Srinagar Central Dale to Jammu, staying of an FIR by the Indian Supreme Court against the Indian troops involved in recent killing of civilians in Shopia and the brutal killing of Hurriyat leader Muhammad Yusuf Nadim. Call for the shutdown has been given by the joint resistance leadership comprising Sayyid Ali Gilani, Mirwaiz Umar Farooq and Muhammad Yasin Malik. In response to the strike, all shops and business establishments are closed while traffic is off the road in the valley. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov says the United States has a strategy to keep its military presence in Syria forever. In an interview with the Euronews television, he said Washington is also seeking to do the same in Iraq and Afghanistan despite all the previous promises. Sergei Lavrov said the United States has been supplying weapons to Kurdish militant groups since very beginning of its activities in Syria and ignoring Turkey's protests over it. 
And that is the end of the news. For more news and analyses, log on to our website, radio.gov.pk, and watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link, facebook.com, Radio Pakistan News Official.